Hi and welcome to Whiskey Shared. You're watching my review of Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Strength. I'm Toby and you're watching Whiskey Shared. Welcome to my review of Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Strength. I recently took part in a top five whiskies challenge and this was my pick for car strength whiskey. This particular whiskey is 64.5% ABV. It retails for around the 65 pound mark in the UK and it comes in a 70 CL decanter style bottle. Should we find out what it tastes like? On to the whiskey. So before I start nosing and tasting, let's have a quick look at the colour in my Jeff Arnett Jack Daniels nosing glass. I'd say that's like a russet. There is a, a nice red tone to this particular whiskey. Let's start with the nose. Right, so the first thing I get is lots of charred, charred wood. There's a little bit of alcohol vapour. It's not too punchy on the nose for its ABV. I'm getting like sour cherry sweets. I'd also say there's like a hint of vinegar. There's definitely some brown sugar. But yeah, that cherry note that I picked up, that's delightful on this. Let's move on to the palette. Yeah, so on the palate, this is oily, it's viscous, syrupy, it's like treacle. It really is, really is a thick, syrupy uh, dram. It really, yeah, is unlike most other whiskies. I've had a couple that are similar to this on the palate, but this is, uh, yeah, this is something else. Let's have another sip. Yeah, so there's a decent amount of heat. Even though this is 64.5% ABV, you'd expect some heat, but it's not overwhelming. Obviously, if this was your first dram of the night, your first sip, it may well overwhelm your palate. This is something that I would normally build up to. Um, yeah, so that heat might surprise you if you jump straight in, but the heat isn't too, isn't too punchy. There's, with that heat, there's not much tingle. There's not much like pepper note. It's really odd. I can feel my palate warming up significantly, but there isn't that sort of attacking of the palate, which I normally get with car strength whiskies. There is a nice sweetness to this, there's sweet vanilla, but there's also like an antique feel with this. I'm getting like dusty wood, like antique furniture. Um, there's a nice, barrel spice as well. As that heat starts to dissipate, there is that sort of charred, sort of spiced oak in there, which is really quite nice. And that cherry note, which I picked up on the nose, has turned into more like a cherry liqueur. It's with that syrupy, thick texture, that cherry flavor is like, um, yeah, almost like a, uh, uh, a cherry alcohol it really is really is quite nice there's some brown sugar in there that sweetness of the sugar along with the vanilla note I picked up is a really nice combination in terms of finish I'd say it is long it does linger for quite a while and there's that sweet sort of warm uh, finish on the tongue that's not too dry either. 
a lot of whiskies leave quite a dry woody note on my palate and this doesn't which is really quite nice in terms of value well this is around the 65 pound mark in the uk obviously if you compare it to the high street variations of jack daniels single barrel which is often available at 45 percent abv for 30 pounds you might think this is quite expensive but what the abv does on this is it really does take it to a whole new level this is the sort of whiskey which a lot of i'd say in the uk a lot of serious whiskey drinkers would probably not have on their radar i think the jack daniels younger sibling the old number seven has probably put a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths in their younger days or even the association of the name doesn't really go with a quality whiskey drink in the UK so this is a cut above the rest it's a single barrel whiskey this is potentially watered down to 64.5 percent I believe in the US they have barrel proof um, which is not watered down and the ABV changes I might be wrong if I am let me know in the comments I'd love to um, love to know all the details but obviously the version we get in the UK is always 64.5 percent it's such a punchy but smooth drinking liquid with lots of character lots of flavor it's the sort of thing you can have with water or you can have neat you can sip it for a very very long time and it is incredibly incredibly enjoyable you know at the 65 pound mark i would buy this all day long and it's the sort of whiskey that doesn't come out very often because it is such an amazing whiskey that you well you don't want it to make all your other whiskies underwhelming this really is a cut above the rest when it comes to car strength and especially bourbon or American whiskey so it really is interesting it really is so full of flavor and if this sounds up your street then I'll put a link in the description and you can find out more and if it doesn't for whatever reason if it doesn't float your boat then well hopefully you'll come back next time and I'll see you for the next one Sauncha. I hope you enjoyed this video if you did why not give it a like or a comment and please consider subscribing for more videos like this.